Hello everybody, welcome to or back to my channel. Today is Monday, so that means we are starting a new weekly reading vlog. I'm very excited about it. So I'm currently reading two books. It is the week, it's the first week I've had in three months where I haven't had a day of fall and night looming over me. So I feel free, I feel so much freedom to read whatever I want to read. We are on my first iced coffee of the morning, but I did have an iced espresso. It wasn't good. It was not good. I need desperately to go back to Trader Joe's and grab the brown sugar creamer that they have because it is so good. It is so good. If y'all haven't tried it, I highly, highly, highly recommend. But let's talk about the books that I'm reading because... We gotta get that first. So first things first on the docket is I am listening to um, The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy still. I'm using my library for this. I'm looking at my vertical screen, it's right behind you. That's where the audiobook is. And I am just to chapter 11, page 115 now. I'm very much enjoying this. If you don't know what it's about, it's set in this semi-fantasy world, but it's not a high fantasy world, I would say. But it's just a world where there are kind of these monster things that are zombie-like and they can reanimate corpses so that is kind of the zombie part and the male main character of this his whole job is to hunt those down and relieve like get the soul out of the body by hitting the appendix which uh, I do still raise what if you don't have one just wondering it's, it's a solid question it's a solid question they already addressed my first question which was what about cats and dogs they already addressed that so that's fine but what if you got to take it out like I'm thinking of Madeline from childhood you know her you remember her yeah you do the female main character is an undertaker who is the person that like prepares the body sends them off and her whole job is she basically does it for bodies that are unclaimed or the family's not doing it or they didn't have money whatever they hate each other so much and the banter is actually really really good and they start to send letters to someone that they know as a friend and don't realize it's one another i love that i love that in books i feel like since that happened within 30 pages of the book starting that's not a spoiler although i haven't seen people mention it but i feel like it should be mentioned because i would have picked this up sooner if i had known that so i think it's cute so it's kind of like it's it's a little fantasy e apocalyptic -y, y romance I don't know, but I'm doing a full on spoiler vlog for the Patreon. So that is that book. Then I am physically reading these Twisted Bonds. I was just speaking to one of my friends and she had said that she read these first two books like back to back really fast. I read the first one when it first came out when Fairy Loot put it in one of their boxes. And so do I remember everything? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't. I already hopped in. I'm 100 pages into this already. I'm on chapter eight, page 108 my little dent right there and I'm still liking it. I've recalled things that are happening. I really do love fantasy, YA fantasy specifically, because it tends to remind you of things more than an adult fantasy would. Like an adult fantasy is just like send up a prayer and hope you remember. Like I don't know what to tell you but here they kind of re-mention things which can get annoying if you are like binge reading a series. It doesn't annoy me because I'm like you know what at least it does this for me because I need it because I need the reminder. Truly, I do. I'm really enjoying this. It's a fun time. I just love YA fantasy. I think this is going to kickstart me reading a bunch of YA fantasy, although I may start getting in the ninth after this, because I'm kind of, I've been wanting to read that, kind of in the mood to read it. We'll see what I'm thinking. So those are those two. And then, so I'm currently right now, as you can see, I'm on Patreon, Spence. There's my audiobook. But I, whoa, just knocked the heck out of the tripod. I'm on Patreon, Spence. And I am getting lots done. I actually, it's 11, 27 a.m. And usually by now, I'm just getting started editing my weekly vlog. Um, but I already edited the weekly vlog. And it is an hour and six minutes long. Okay, so I do have to send this off for approval. So as soon as this finishes exporting, I'm going to upload it, send it there. I might post it to Patreon. Just hope that it gets approved. <laughs> because I want to give like as much time as possible. And it's kind of the perfect time that I finished editing because it's lunchtime. So if I were, you know, roles reversed, I would want the person to release it because I would want to watch it at lunchtime, you know? But that's just me. I finished that already. And this week I've decided I want to do an accountability week and see how it goes. May do this 
weekly now because I was talking about how I've been trying to incorporate more lifestyle elements into my vlogs and one thing I really want to do is like goals because I've noticed that if I mention it in here I may not show it I may forget to show it which I do a lot but I still do the thing that I mentioned doing um because I'm like oh well I can't just like I don't know why you could totally fake the b-roll but in my head I'm like I can't fake the b-roll because that's that to me is like girl <laughs> i'll fake it for like starting a book if i've already started it i'll still like film me opening the first pages or whatever but like faking going on a walk or faking using the walking pad which is gonna be one of my goals to me i'm just like is this where we're at girl <laughs> and no it's not because i really do need to get on it so my goals this week first of all as you saw i did a little bit of journaling in my planner so this is a well this is a vds cover um they're my favorite shop but i shop very infrequently with them because they are a really big treat yourself kind of store but i can show you because i don't have anything personal written in here yet but like this is my layout for the week we're just doing like can you see that it's haunted house washi and then there's like books and i was trying to make it like a haunted house with a library purple vibe for the week like there's some little ghosties there, some more books there. And it's just those four and then the purple pins, which I, I put back in my drawer. But anyways, so I put my current read, which is these broken or these twisted bonds. And I've decided to go back to doing very poorly done drawings of them like doodles really because i just don't want this to bulk up too much my goals for the week well i have actually i have multiple goals so let's just go into it so the goals that i wrote down i need to still fill out saturday and sunday but i wrote down the goals is to walk on the walking pad every day for at least five minutes which sounds like not a lot at all but i have noticed that so my apple watch the goal for like the move goal is like 30 minutes or whatever it's the default so i've realized if i tell myself i just have to walk on there for five minutes i am so much more likely to stay on longer because it's like i've already hit my goal so then i'm like okay well what's five more what's five more what's five more and then i do that six times and then i end up at 30 minutes so that's why it's five minutes i also am a big believer in like starting small manageable and then building up because i am also a big um believer apparently in letting go of goals if i don't do that so that's another reason why I want to document it because this is so embarrassing. Like if I put this out here and then you never hear about this again for the rest of the week. Mm, yikes. So then the other one is journal at least once a day, which I've already done today. Only drink one cup of coffee after breakfast. That's because it is the week. Like the last week of the month is always a little bit anxiety. So I'm trying to watch out for that coming up. And then my Monday goals that I wrote down, I have two. Is cut off phone usage at 8 p.m. or earlier. I'm hoping for earlier personally there's no one else involved it's completely personal i don't know why i said that and then read at least 200 pages today so that can be in these twisted bonds get to page 300 because i'm at page 100 right now that could be reading 100 in the undertaking of heart and mercy reading 100 in twisted bonds it could be you know whatever the case is i want to just read 200 pages today because i have a lot of videos that i want to do and i really want to try to get better at focusing end of statement there but just focus Focusing my time, focusing my effort on tasks and getting them done. So that's the goal there. I have my to-do list on this little thingy. I'll put it right here, but I'm going to read it to you from here because it's really cute and I really like it. This website is called lifeat.io. I found it from Isabella from Throne of Pages on her Patreon, but my goals were to update planner and journal, which I did. 10 minutes on the walking pad. I know I said five of my planner, but you know what? If the inconsistency is just going to be more, I think that's fine. Read 100 pages of these twisted bonds. Edit weekly vlog and thumbnail. I did both of those so I can check those off too. Post early access for the weekly vlog. Film Squarespace ad read. Email the ad read. So, oh my god, I can check off literally everything except for the walking and these twisted bonds. Which is so nice. What the? Anyways, let me, let's go do that. And then we can get to walking. Um, I do think Miss Emily D. Baker is about to go live. So, I want to get that settled so I can walk watch her that's kind of my routine when it's her days that she does lives which is why I love court time because she's live every day and it's just 
I don't know why. I don't know, is this some, somebody will have to let me know down below, but I've seen this thing about body doubling for ADHD where you, like sprints to me is kind of like the perfect example of that where you're working alongside someone else. So we're doing 90 minute sprints. So we're, we work for 90 minutes, we come together for five to 10, talk, chat, see what we've done, and then we go right back to working. And it has helped me so much because it is the same thing as when I used to be teaching. I would go to my friend's classroom, <laughs> if she's watching, she will definitely tell you that I talked a lot more than five to 10 minutes, but that's fine. But I would multitask so much better with someone else in the room than if I was on my own. Because on my own, I'm like, <laughs> I could just open a Google tab right now and just whatever I want, we can get into it. I've been liking sprints for that. I've been liking launching Emily for that. So let me know if that is something that you do as well, because it's very helpful to me. But I would like to finish this coffee now and then we will be moving on to water. It's back here. I was like, where is it? But let me, let's go check off the stuff, set up Emily D. Baker's live stream, get the coffee and finish uploading this video and check off everything. I'm so excited that I can check off so much in one sprint. Well, actually this is a second sprint, but still, let me go. Look at this boy. Wow. Oh, good stretch. Hi guys, good morning. Um, love the box fan in the background, really genuinely do. I would die in the south without it, <laughs> but it's not cute. Oh, there's a boy. So I have to take back these books to the library and I did not get to them, so I'm so sad. And I will just put myself back in line again, as I've been doing. Um, they're not due yet. I just know that there are people waiting, so I'm taking it back, and then I'll just get back in line. I really should have made the bed before I did this. It's okay. There's just two pillows down there. They go up there. Pretend they're there, okay? Okay, thank you. So I did read a little bit last night. I read up to 200 pages in Zodiac Academy 4, Shadow Princess. I don't know. I don't know, I just did it. I just did it, I just did it. I'm just like crazy like that. So I did read 200 pages yesterday like my goal was, but it was not of the right book, but I did read more of that book. I read to page 140 of these twisted bonds, and then I read like 190 or something in The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. So technically I read more than I meant to of my goal. It was just within a book that I hadn't factored into the equation. Yeah, I need to, I'm gonna go take all my vitamins and my mitts and then we're gonna hit the road <laughs> to go to the library. <laughs> so it's a real trip. Um, and I'm going to, I'm gonna get a Starbucks because I want one and I kinda want a croissant. But also then I'm like, should I just go into, central and get those because they're better there you know but also here's the thing this is gonna sound bad starbucks coffee is like really weak <laughs> so part of me is like i kind of want that because i want a weaker coffee because i don't want a super intense one i'm sorry i don't know i don't know but we are going to go do that then come back home and then set up camp on the couch and just read all day and that's gonna be the plan. It's supposed to rain a little bit today. That's super cool, that's super fun, that's super fresh. Oh, I forgot to say, so in last week's vlog, I did say, should I get the new Kindle since my other one is dying? Because I waited a really long time to get the new, well, like a replacement one, when my last one, before the one I currently have, was dying. And it was like day and night when I used a new Kindle because I don't know, all my features are slowing down really bad. It doesn't download things really well. And then like I have the Oasis and my little buttons aren't working anymore. Well, they still do, but you have to like hit them a bunch of times. Um, sometimes to like reset it. I don't know what's going on with it. And then it's like the pages are taking forever to turn and sometimes they just don't turn. And I have to like 
lock and unlock my Kindle, then I have to reset the Kindle, and now even the reset, like under settings, isn't doing it, like fixing the problem as much anymore. So I was like, should I get the green paper white? Because I've been thinking about it. And one singular person <laughs> through early access on Patreon said, yeah, you should. So it's ordered. Um, it's coming here today. It's seven stops away. So it'll hopefully be here by the time that we get back from the library. And we'll unbox it together. That's all I got for you. That's it. That's that's the video. Bye. <laughs>
Kindle Oasis, y'all. This is 16 gigs. I think that's well enough um, space for me. But my Oasis, I have so many books on there. And yeah, Ginger's just yelling. But it's because... So I looked this up. It's a thing. It's a phenomenon, okay? Because I frequent the, um, the old forms for, like taking care of elderly cats. I do, I look them up. And I was looking as to how to like get older cats to eat more because she like does the like old lady thing where she grazes a lot throughout the day. One of the tips was a lot of cats like to be brushed or pet while they're eating. And lo and freaking behold, I brush her and she eats for like a long time. So now my partner and I brush her when she's eating to help her like eat more. It's the weirdest, but listen, I don't, if you're an animal owner, you know, you'll do anything. So it's what I do now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I am gonna go finish setting this guy up. I am gonna just re call it Return of the Kindle because I think that's funny and I think I'm funny and I think that would be a good idea. So but let me know what I should name it. There's a lot of Kylo on my TikTok for you page right now. So I think that might be a sign. Oh my God, also look how these match. I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. This drawer is so, I can't even do this B-roll without acknowledging that. I hate this. I want one that goes to like here, but I can't find it. Anyways, here's my current read, y'all. This is so good. Also, check it out. Check it out, check it out. There, I included one of the Summerween stickers from that Remarkably Rage on Etsy. Shout out to the girl. But like, look, look at it. Name a better duo. You can't, you can't. Full pressure, name a better one. You can't, you lost. I won. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, shiny forehead town. <laughs> Good Lord. It is like so shiny. Uh, and this is so much lower than I, the other one. Why? Is that science? Or did I just find the fault in our home? Anyways, I did want to show you this. <laughs> Look at it. Look at her. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She is Miss America. And this book, y'all, I'm obsessed. I'm 50% in now. I'm going to sit down this morning and finish it. I have reading sprints at 2 p.m. So I think that I'm going to wait to be productive during those. And this morning, I'm just going to drink my coffee, read this book. I'm making oats right now. And I have cut up strawberries that I'm going to put in those. I think I might put a banana as well, because why not? Um, it's super rainy outside, which is very nice as well. Like, it's just a great day to read a book, and that's what I'm gonna do. So, yeah, let's go do that. Boom, look at my beautiful breakfast that I have literally every single morning because I don't like change. So I just came out to feed Little Miss Thing her breakfast. Doesn't she look so cute? She loves to literally get in her bowl, so I'm gonna have to clean it all up later. But I look over, and I'm so sorry. Hello? Hello? Who, who are you? What are you doing? What's going on? I'm looking out from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. Don't make a sound when I shut the door. Hello, everybody. Okay, hey, hi. So I am going to politely ask you to ignore the mess that is my hair, that is the house, that is everything, because I have been, um, how do you say, in a life slump? So like, that's fun, but I'm getting out of it and I am gonna clean. It's just not right now. I'm actually gonna film one of like the productive, I think it's, what is it that I want? It's not, a, it's not specifically a productive, but it's like the 6.30 a.m. productive day routine thing. I'm gonna do that because it always forces me to be productive and to do errands that I've been pushing off. So that will be going up Thursday for y'all. So I don't have a second video going up this week, but oh well. But I am gonna try to put that one up. I'm excited about it. And then also ugh, I've now seen two of like my favorite bookish, lifestyle-y girlies. And if you watch them, you already know like the video concept I'm talking about, but it's uh, Miss Haley Pham and Sarah Crowley when they do their like ultimate book vlogs or book videos where they like go shopping, set a TBR, Haley does like her reading journal and like read the book and the vlog. I wanna do that so bad. So I'm thinking about doing one of those in June. 
maybe maybe we'll do that for like a release that i know i'm gonna want to buy so that we can center that video around it and it doesn't break my whole like trying to read from the library and from the books that i own only situation i'm doing this year but i did want to say that did y'all see that freaking bug <laughs> listen i love miss annabeth the tortoise that you saw love her so much i love being outside in the nature i like going on our little nature walks in the park i like planting and doing stuff in her like enclosure i love dirt love it i, I think it's like so grounding and like actually really helpful for my anxiety but the one thing i just can't get behind is bugs and i have this dream that we're gonna like go move off grid with land and goats and chickens and stuff but um I don't know. I don't know. It seems like bugs would be involved and I really don't want that. I don't want that life. I think that that was just a caterpillar. So, you know, that's fine. But it, why is it fuzzy? Why does it have to be? Is that a requirement? Anyways, Emily D. Baker is having a live stream today that I did not know she was having, but she's doing two. So I got to get on that. And it's perfect because one's at 1030, but she's always late. So I can be late too. And then another one is at like 12.45. So both of them are before sprints because I'm doing sprints at 2 p.m. for Patreon. And we're going to do long ones because I got a lot of stuff to do. But I wanted to sit down and like actually give you a proper update on this book. So honestly, this book is very much... We're just having a good time. We're having a, like... Well, not a good time because it's war. But <laughs> I do have to say... Considering how vibey based the first book was, this is surprisingly like very intriguing with the courts and the political stuff and like betrayal that's going on. It's just very interesting. I have to say that our main character is starting to get on my nerves a little bit. How, oh my God, I have so much pen all over me. I was journaling this morning. Apparently I had a lot to say because I got pin all over me. I'm not even left-handed. I don't know how I got on this hand, but whatever. So she um, is starting to get on my nerves a little bit, but it's just because I think that um, I'm not following her thought process. And I don't know if it's because I'm not following it or if we're not really being told it that well, because I can understand why she gets to the conclusion she gets to, but I just like, I have to fill in a lot of blanks and I just don't know if that should be the case, but I'm still doing it. So that's fine. I don't know if that's like a writing thing, if that's a character thing, or if that's like a me thing, whatever it is, it's not enough to really bother me that much because really like this is the epitome of just having a good time with the YA fantasy. I love YA fantasy because it is just the drama. It's messy. It's like fast paced. You get just enough plot, just enough world building, just enough character development that it's not like the whole of it, but it's like enough for it to still be like, you know, a fantasy book. I don't know. I just love it. I just think it's like such a fun portion of the genre. So um, I really enjoy it. I'm glad I'm reading this. And yeah, I just keep staring at the back of my Kindle. I just think it's the cutest thing ever and no one can tell me any different. Like I'm just, I'm just obsessed with it. And like, there's no other option. Like it is the moment, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to read this, watch the stream. I think I might make a little um, chai latte, but I have to tell y'all this Emma Chamberlain chai, I like it, but it is, you could tell me it's three, four sugar in this pack and I would believe you because it is so freaking sweet. I've never had chai that's this sweet. It's so sweet and it's so like, it's just so sugary, which I know some people love a good sugary tea. So like, that's great. But like this... I don't know, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't like that as much. It tastes way better than the Starbucks chai. I'll say that. I know that that's like a syrup or something, but still it tastes better than that. But it's just so sugary. And so I really want to find like a pre-made chai that isn't, but also I don't know. I think maybe with chai pre-made it's just not the way to go. I have a folder of TikTok saved of like how to make chai tea and also how not to. 
And I'm gonna do it one day. I'm gonna keep saying it too until I do it. It's not today though. You guessed it. We're gonna go make Miss Emma's. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think we'll froth some milk. That sounds good. Some cinnamon on top. I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put the stream on, do that, read this. I'll get back to you once I've read it. And that'll be our update. Guys, tonight though, I have to say is the reunion for Vanderpump Rules. I need to get on YouTube right now because Emily actually might be discussing that because she ha also has taste and watches Vanderpump Rules. Which, to be fair, my I, okay, I've watched literally the first. Um, excuse me, Roku. Who do you think you are? No, it keeps jumping around on the home screen. Rude. Anyways, so I watched the first three seasons of Vanderpump Rules, and I was like, no one's really likable. Don't love. But then, oh, is this just a premiere? Dang, I got excited for like no reason. Oh, maybe the stream is actually at 12. That would make more sense. Yeah, how embarrassing. The stream is at 1245, but there's this premiere. I'll still, I'll still watch it because I don't, I think it has to do with the stream she's doing later. But anyways, I watched the first three seasons and I was like, I don't really like anyone on here. Like y'all are all a mess, but it is entertaining TV, I suppose. And then I stopped watching until all of this happened. And then I tried to go back and start from the beginning. Like so many people on TikTok I've seen like started from season one and have just now finished it. And they're going to watch the reunion tonight. That's, um, amazing for them. I wasn't, it wasn't for me. That choice was not for me. I could not care any less about those first seasons. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to watch season 10. So my partner and I just binge watched season 10 in two days. And yeah, that's a lot. It's a mess. And then we watched the finale at my mom's last week. And I have to say, I think that finale might be the most engrossed in a reality TV show I've ever been in my life. The editing was just really good. I love when you can tell the producers and the editors feeling through the show. I feel like that's something that Bravo does really well. Specifically, I'm looking at last season of Potomac. I just feel like they do that a lot. And I do enjoy that when it's done well. <laughs> And I agree. <laughs> and I typically do agree with them. And that last episode was very good. And then this is the first episode of the reunion. I think I'm the unpopular opinion though, that I don't love three part reunions. I really don't see a need to do any more than two. Like I know it's for views and ratings and stuff. I, so I get it. And yeah, I'll be watching all three, but I feel like I would be so much more into like make this my Super Bowl and just do a three hour reunion. Like be so long with it. Like I think that would be so good. I know people would watch all three hours too. I really think that that would be so entertaining or like two hour and a half long ones even. I would watch that. I would love that. Alas, I'll be here for three weeks watching three different episodes where half of it is still just recap from the previous, which I just watched and probably rewatched the Tuesday before the Wednesday that it comes out. So. There's no need for the recap, but alas. Yeah, that was my little Bravo rant. I did get some comments that were like, I want you to talk more about Housewives and all of that. And right now I don't really have anything to say about Housewives because Housewives of Atlanta has just started. So I'm just watching it. I'm watching Kempire's recaps the day after. Just kind of, you know, seeing what's going on this season. And then, is there, I don't think I'm watching any other, there's no other Housewives. I just finished watching Ultimate Girls Trip, season three. That's all I have to say about that. And... Yeah, so I'm just watching Atlanta right now and I'll probably watch... I don't know when the what next one is coming out. Is it Orange County? I watched the last last year's season of Orange County. It's the only one I've ever seen. It's the only one I want to see. After seeing some of the women from past Orange County on Ultimate Girls Trip, no interest in watching them on TV. <laughs> Not at all. Kind of like how I feel about New York. I'm excited about the New York reboot. I know some people are not. I know some people are very upset about it because none of the originals are coming back, but I think that's kind of fun. I think it's kind of cool to like do a whole refresh. We'll have to see what that looks like, but anyways, that's it. I'm gonna go get my tea, do all the things, read a book, what I said. Hi guys, so I have since showered because that big old caterpillar I showed you, my partner texted me and said something about how it could be poisonous and I was like, I have to go on a freaking mission to save my tortoise then and uh, couldn't find the caterpillar. But then I looked it up and the Google says that it is a woolly caterpillar, caterpillar and they're not poisonous unless you're allergic to their like little hairs. And then it said it's not poisonous to 
animals. I don't know if that extends to reptiles. I'm just gonna have to keep an eye out for it and we, we're gonna have to fight. I'm sitting down now with my little cup of Stanley. I did have, well, this is a double over ice with a little bit of that cinnamon roll creamer, which was too much of it. You like literally just need a splash, which is nice. But the serving size is like a tablespoon. And I'm like, I could not. And then some oat milk and I only drank half of it, as you can see, and I think that's quite enough. So now I'm switching to water. I'm just trying to stay awake and stay awake and alive because of the late, well, it's late for me. I've been going to bed at 10 p.m. again, which has been great. We are watching, again, the reunion tonight, so it's gonna be a bit of a later night for me and I need to be able to stay awake, but I am getting pretty sleepy. I don't really wanna have a whole lot of light in here because I really like reading on my Kindle like in a darker setting. It looks very bright on the camera, but my windows are actually like closed. There's a little bit of gap, but they're the blinds are completely closed. Pretty bright in here. It looks really nice, but it's dark enough in real life that I can read this well. The thing I wanted to update this about is because it is so funny to me because I'm sitting here reading it and I'm just like, I love Faye. And now I want to reread Akatar and I want to reread the Cruel Prince series. So I have two reading vlogs I want to do and I wanted to ask y'all, do you like when I do reading specific vlogs where there's like not lifestyle involved it's just like a reading vlog and it's all about the series so like a cruel prince reading vlog a shatter me reading vlog like those kind of things are you interested in those if yes if there are any other kinds that you would like let me know for sure I already have the shatter me one half done I have to do phase two <laughs> of that and then I really want to do the cruel prince because this is making me want to reread the cruel prince because I love the cruel prince so so much and this has a lot of the political intrigue that the cruel prince had so I'm very excited to see where this goes I'm liking it so far we're going on our little mission now and I'm living laughing and loving so I'm gonna keep chug a lugging Rita eating. Okay, bye. <laughs> they just have to pretend that they're dating. They just have to for the safety of it all. <laughs> I love it, continue, continue. Look at the way I look right now. <laughs> what am I doing? I live my best life is what I'm doing. Y'all, I really can't get over reading on a Kindle. I think that I am just a paper white girl. I had a paper white up until I got the Oasis. And this is my review. I think the paper white is superior. The Oasis is really cool. Pretty much only if you want like the buttons on the side, which I did at that time. I don't, there's something about being able to hold this in your hand, just one hand that I love. And I just like, I just like the paper white better. It's so much better. I feel like I'm running through this book. <laughs> like it says uh, three hours and 30 minutes left, but it was just an four hours and 15. Two chapters ago. There's no way. There's no way. I can't do a lot of math, but I can do enough to know that there's no way <laughs> that that's not just due to the fact that I'm re- like I just read so much faster on the Kindle, I guess is what I'm saying. Because I don't know if y'all have this, but I am so bad about checking where I'm at in the book when I'm reading a physical book. Like I just- and it's not because I really truly care how long it's gonna take me. I don't really care about that. I used to care if I read books fast or how many I could read, but I don't care anymore, which is ironic because now I read more now that I am not worried about it. I just- I race through them on here because with a physical book, I, you know, I'm just curious of like, oh, how many chapters or how many pages left till the end of the chapter? Or how many- like, is it bigger on the left side instead of the right side? So like I have more pages read than unread now like where am I at with that and I love a good physical book I really do and sometimes the physical book is so good. I don't even care about that fourth wing Thrillers some of the fast-paced like cozy mysteries and cozy fantasies. No romances. Yes that I read have that um, Like effect on it to where I don't even notice how fast or how slow I'm reading it very rarely do just big old fantasies have that fourth wing was kind of its own phenomenon for me but reading it on a kindle i'm like flying the example i'm also reading zodiac four right now and when i read that physically it feels like years are taken off my life i read it on here i can't believe i've read 200 pages in two hours like it's it's crazy anyways <laughs>
let me get back to reading. I'm officially at 50% through page 242 and three hours left. We're doing hour, we're doing 90 minute sprints, so hour and a half sprints. So that's two more sprints than I'd finish this. Let's see if that's true, because that's what? That'll be about, we're gonna probably get off of these around six, six or seven, because that's when I'm gonna head over to my mother's house. But I think we're, I think we're on track to actually finish it, you guys. What about that? <laughs> Okay, hello guys. So I just got off sprints. I am 77% through the these twisted bonds now. So I definitely think I'm gonna be able to finish it before a Vanderpump reunion tonight, which is very exciting. But I have to go feed Ginger because she is right here screaming at me. So I'm gonna go do that really quick, but I am gonna finish this tonight. I have to say, if you like Faye, but you don't like some of the tropes that are included, like the soulmate thing, or I don't know, just there are some Faye specific tropes I've noticed in romanticy where I don't love them as much. And here there is a twist on them that I won't say because it could be a spoiler. I don't know if it is, but it could be. So anyways, this is a book that doesn't have that in the same way. It has it, but not in the same way. It's totally different. And I love the take on it, but I won't specify how or why we see that. But it's like, it's the whole like faded thing, but it's not at all like anything I've ever seen in any other book. So I really liked it. That's the update for now. I'm gonna go feed my cat so she stops yelling and I will see you guys once I've actually finished the book and we can do a review and have a whole moment. There might be a bit of paper left under the pool of coffee. Try to remember what I wrote and you just laugh. Better have a talk, think it might last until it's dark. When the candlelights are out, I really think it's goodbye. Okay, hi guys. So I've got quite a bit to update you on <laughs> since I last saw you. So the first thing is that I finished these Twisted Bonds and it was really good. Wasn't a five star, er, but it was very enjoyable, very fast paced. I liked how this duology ended, but I just wish that it had been a trilogy, which when I looked on Goodreads seemed to be a general consensus. Like a lot of people said that, that they think it would have been a good trilogy, which I obviously agree with. I just think that where the ending got to was great, but if there had been another book in between, like when they found out the true conflict and had another book where there was like the actual war and planning and like some kind of struggle to actually get to the very end, I think it would have been like a sweeter payoff and I would have enjoyed that more but all things considered still really liked it and then I thought I was gonna come to you by just letting you know I was reading it but actually I read yesterday all day yesterday was speed reading it and a little bit the day before too I think and then I finished it just now on some reading sprints uh, and that is Shadow Princess Zodiac Academy book four I finished this or it finished me I don't know. My head kind of hurts. I'm going to go take a Tylenol <laughs> because I feel like I was just so focused on reading this that I need a little bit of a breather. So I'm going to take that breather. And what I'm going to do instead of, because listen, I'm very tempted to just get into book five. Not going to lie to you. Next week is looking like it's going to be a Zodiac week. But for now, I need to, because it's the end of the month, it's the 26th. I want to finish The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy first. I want to finish all the books that I'm in the middle of or need to read this month. We're going to do that. So for The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy, I am on chapter 19, page almost 200. So I'm a little shy of being halfway through. So I'm going to listen to the audiobook. The audiobook of this is really nice. I like the narrator. The voices are 
very... Hmm. Sometimes I feel like the narrators do a lot with their voices and like tonally and I don't always love it. Sometimes it's like, okay, this is not relaxing. This is like, y'all, it's a little grating sometimes because it's just, it feels too much of like acting, I guess, which maybe that's weird because they're not acting, but I guess they kind of are voice acting. But it, sometimes it's just, it, it takes you out of the story. Like I, this, these audiobooks take me out of the story. I, I don't really like them. They're not very fun. I've just noticed I actually enjoy these books when I physically read them or Kindle read them. So either one of those, but this one has a very nice audiobook, really liking it. So I'm going to continue with this and I'm going to play my word search game because every weekend they have like a battle amongst people. And I don't think that it's actually like your neighbor's because I don't let apps track my thing, so I don't know how it would be. The app I use, because some people do ask, is just called search. Like, it's just word search. And the little icon is just like, it looks like a word search and it's highlighted word. And it's by People Fun. So, well, it's also, it's by the same people who did Wordscapes. So it just looks like that. And I am going to, well, it starts at five. So I'm gonna wait till five, it's 4.30 right now, to play that listen to this audiobook and just kind of like chill let my brain chill i would watch something but i don't i don't really want to watch anything i mean i'm in a very reading mood like i just want to read got a lot to read which is great because i'm about to show you the library haul i got <laughs> yeah so that's the plan for undertaking of heart and mercy this will be happening next week though so get ready for that prepare to be sick of me so i did get some book mail and Listen, this is from the Bookish Box, which I did unbox the Stalking Jack the Ripper series from them on here, and they're doing a reprint right now, and I am intrigued to see what they change, like what happens with that. I'll let y'all know when it gets here. This one, they gave us a voucher, like a gift card, I guess, towards their books because messed up on the Stalking Jack the Ripper, so it made this set of books $20 with shipping, and I was like, you know what? I'm not in a race to read these books, but I love these editions a lot. So let me just use the voucher, pay 20 bucks. They'll get here whenever they get here, which was now. So this is the London Calling series, which I have been gathering recommendations from y'all in the comments for a while now. And Boyfriend Material continues to be one of them. So this is the Boyfriend Material edition. Here are the sprayed edges, if it will focus. Here's the back. I think these are very pretty. I really, really do. And this is the thing that I am sad about. So the part that I like is this. I don't know if it's going to show up well, but I like this minimalistic, no faces on it edition. But when I bend my edition, like the, to do it, to go backwards, first of all, I was very happy to see that they had actually kind of bent it to help you do that, but it ruined, um this like when I went to go look at it it was already peeling up so I don't want to make that worse so I won't be putting the additions on that way the backwards version which makes me sad because that's the one that I really like it's not that big of a deal and then this is husband material which is the sequel to boy bear material but why it's not showing up I don't know. Those are the two books that I got in the mail from them. I was like, listen, this is going to be cheaper than if I just buy the two paper copies. So I ordered these last year, like in fall of last year. So yeah. Okay. Now I have so many books on my desk. Oh my God. The first thing I'm going to do is clean all of this up. But now I have a library haul. So I just did a renewal for the Davenports and for the how um a house with good bones because I want to read both of those and I needed to renew. Then I picked up The Naturals by Jennifer Jennifer Lynn Barnes, who also wrote the Inheritance Games. And this is like I saw someone compare it to Criminal Minds, but there's like they've got powers? I don't know if they have like actual powers or they're just like super smart. Either way, I'm excited for that. And then I also got this mortal coil because I saw someone else. They did like one of those little um, read this book if you like this with like one of the TikTok bookish sounds. And this one has the main character is a hacker. There's something about like cover-ups conspiracy kind of things in this. And I have seen this book a lot. Never read it though. I was like, you know what? 
this actually sounds interesting. So why not pick it up? It's definitely a backlist. It came out in 2017. I want to catch up on some of the uh, releases that I did not read back then. So speaking of releases, I thought that this came out in June. It does. This says that it comes out June 2023. But for some reason, my library... So I requested this from my library and I was the first in line and I don't know why we already have it, but it's You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight, which I was really excited for this book. First of all, I don't know how to get y'all to be able to see this cover, but this cover is just... I love this cover. I love it so much. The little blurb thing is just, I'm the final girl guaranteed to survive the night and she gets like a summer job at a camp so it's like a camp slasher thank you so much and it's so like so short so i'm excited for that i think i may i think i might read those two next month because i was planning on this one not like oh, those two let me see, these two um but i was planning on this one not even getting to me until end of june so because i was gonna try to read it in july i'm gonna read it now this is what this is why it's great to not have a tbr because i could just read whatever i want anyways i did that update a lot faster than i thought i would because when i was editing my vlog yesterday while filming another vlog a, like a productive day vlog um i realized that the footage is at 50 minutes right now edited so yeah i think i'll probably update y'all again on sunday or maybe i'll do one more update on monday but this is already gonna be an hour long and I don't want it to be too long. So after this, we're going to do some B-roll. And then maybe a little few updates. But nothing too big. Just just an update to round everything out. I'm going to go now. So goodbye. See you later. um hi how you doing we have this sweatshirt on this is honestly what i've realized is i don't really wear this out i only wear this to read <laughs> but the new summer ween ones are on the way so we will have a replacement soon enough but as you saw i am burning my favorite candle if you can hear it crackling in the background that would be why and i do have my kindle here although this is all I can pay attention to right now, you guys. <laughs> I need to be finishing up. I'm almost done The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. And I want to read Giddy in the Night because that is the Patreon book club pick for the uh, Ice Caramel Macchiato Tears book club. And I'm very excited to read Giddy in the Night because a YouTuber that I really like read it recently and enjoyed it. And I was like, okay. She doesn't even like sci-fi or fantasy, so I have a really good shot at enjoying this, especially if she liked it. However, I started buddy reading this series with a friend of mine, and we can't stop. Like, I, I finished the fourth one yesterday, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a break from it, I'm gonna read another book. Book. I'm gonna just chill out. I don't need to read the next one right now. It's not that pressing. So I am 80 pages in. <laughs> I'm on chapter six and I am just gonna keep on continuing with this. This is what kills me. So do y'all see the like black lines? That's where the chapters are because their chapters, um, the chapter pages look like this. So that's where the chapter breaks are and if you can see um when you get 
closer to the end all here it's so many chapter breaks and we were joking that like it's always the last not even you know how like with sarah j j mass or someone like that like it's the last or actually brandon sanderson does it too the last 100 200 pages it's like ha 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 it's the last 50 to 25 pages in here so you read this is 916 pages yeah uh, so you read 900 pages for the last 16 to be crazy <laughs> and i just i love it i'm here again for it to read it so that that is what i'm doing i thought about tabbing this book but really there's not a whole lot to tab i thought it would be cute to tab it because i do i just i like the way these books look i like the way this looks but i don't have anything to tab there's nothing tab worthy in here sorry there's just not the writing style is so easy to read but i don't particularly like it if that makes sense like there's no quotes or anything that i'm like oh i want to write that down so right now i'm watching a little youtube podcast that came out yesterday and i am finishing off this coffee i'm probably actually gonna go make another one of these but homemade instead and take my medicine and then we have 39 minutes left on this stream or this sprint so i'll probably keep listening to the podcast and i will do my journaling for the morning and then we will get into zodiac academy cursed fates and i'll let you know how that goes so it's how we spend our days it's tragic in so many ways i stumbled to the door i couldn't take it anymore I took a leap of faith and then I was gone I didn't love you anyhow Now I'll make each day count I didn't love you anyhow This bird must learn to fly Maybe, maybe, maybe I am obsessed with using this cup over and over again. For some reason, it makes me feel like when I can put this lid on, I just walk around my iced coffee like, mm, mm, insert iced coffee noise, mm, you know what I mean? It's, it's satisfying. So, if you're wondering, are you, what is happening? Why are you using this? Um, it's because I, it's because I can. Hi guys, so this might be one of the last days this is happening. I literally threw this on. I promise, I do have another shirt under here, but I just threw it on top because I'm a little chilly and I wanted to do this vlog update, but it is official. The big anxious week is among us. It has started, it's more like a week and a half. So I am switching up my reading plans accordingly. So let's discuss that first and then I'm gonna show you um, something I got in the mail. So first things first, I did end up finishing The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. I did think that this was a fun book. I did enjoy my time in the world. I thought the banter was good. I thought that the um, family dynamics were really fun to read about, friendships, I will say, Mercy, the main character, when she was complaining about things, it would, or internally, like in her chapters, would drive me a little bit crazy, but I won't go into that here. I go into that in the Patreon vlog, but uh, yeah, I did finish this. I don't think that I'm going to be keeping this. I don't feel like I really need a copy of this book. Um, I do want to continue reading what this author puts out. I think that it was fun. I don't think the world building was necessarily good if you compare it to that of a fantasy book, but I think it was good in the sense of like it gave you enough that you needed to feel like this was a fantasy world other than our own. So 
Uh, I'm going to put it on the unhaul pile that I have going over here. I will be filming another unhaul. It's just taking me longer because I'm reading the books before I unhaul them. And I actually think that I may do a vlog style unhaul, which is what I have done in the past for every unhaul almost. But I just think that it might be better if I um, film them and then put them up on Pango. And then by the time that they're up, like the books will have been on Pango and or in new homes, but they won't be here because <laughs> I just don't want them here. But then I always think like, oh, I want, you know, the books here for a thumbnail or something like that. So I'm, I don't know. Maybe we'll just do one big unhaul like at the end of the year. Ooh, that might be nice. A big unhaul like in December or something. Maybe that. So, as I updated last, I was reading Zodiac Academy 5, which is Cursed Fates. And I'm putting that on pause for right now because I want to pick up something more immersive. And that book just isn't as immersive as I need right now. I need something that is a bit more challenging to read. A lot more challenging for me to read. I think in the sense of, like, plot and characters and keeping the world all together now that I'm five books into that series um despite that book already not being the most hard to read writing style I think that because I'm so immersed in that world like I'm so in it with all the characters and all the plots and all the political mo and there's not a whole lot of plot there it's it's very easy for me to drift mentally while I'm still reading it so I'm going to pick up Gideon the Ninth instead this is the Illuminate edition that I got so it's got these beautiful edges as you can see See. I love them. Um, but I'm gonna read this. I just read a chapter and that puts me at page 25. I do like it. The writing style, I, I am enjoying it. There's something about Gideon that kind of reminds me of the sarcasm that Tony Stark had, <laughs> especially within like the first movie. It's a very cocky, maybe doesn't actually believe in themselves that much kind of sarcasm and I like it a lot. Um, but now I'm gonna show you what I got in the mail because it's exciting and then I'm gonna go sit down to watch some tennis and by some I mean all three hours that Peacock has. So the first thing that I got is a mug for Summerween. I will be using this at least once a day in the Summerween vlogs because I'm trying to drink more hot coffee in the morning and I love the mug i think it's so cute also got this this is the like slouchy tank and i got this because i think it will be really good for going on my hot girl walks on my walking pad while listening to you know murder and mayhem on my audiobooks during summerween but also it's cute enough that i think honestly i could put like a jean jacket over that and it would still be cute to like go out into the public and then I also got a blue crew neck. So now it will replace the Monster Rash crew neck. And I'm very excited about it. I think it is so cute. So this Summerween merch is probably my favorite that we have ever done. Of course, Monster Mash is the second there because I just think it's adorable. So I have those two things. I love them a lot. Plus the little mug guy. And I did get a tote bag as well because I'm slowly trying to build up my collection of tote bags so that we can take them to the grocery store as well as they can work for when we go to the library. That's all I have for you there. Now I'm going to head out to the kitchen and I'm going to make a decaf ice latte. So it's just going to be honestly the taste of decaf coffee and the smell of coffee beans are very relaxing so it helps in this time but there's not the caffeine and then i'm gonna make it with like one pump of syrup so there's pretty much no sugar i'm trying i'm trying i swear to y'all i'm trying to like the sugar-free vanilla syrup i just don't i don't and i don't know if there's like an artificial f sweetener in it that i don't like i don't like it it's not very good it is not very good to me but Aside from that, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to put tennis on. I'm going to read Gideon the Ninth, drink my coffee, have some oats, and that'll probably be it for the evening. I will come back 
tomorrow to close this one out so that you know in case I read a whole lot tonight or make some crazy headway but I don't think I will like my bookmarks are right there barely in just in case though just in case because what if what if so yeah okay okay so I'm also gonna do my paint by number while I watch tennis sire here is the update I had someone ask a while ago and I didn't share one because I didn't have much of an update but I did a lot of this now I'm gonna move on to this side and then I have this in the middle, but I might do this in the middle and then branch out so I can paint longer. But I think it's starting to look so cute. I love it so much. I just have to figure out a frame. <laughs> I don't know about that yet. Hello everybody. It is now Monday and I am currently editing the vlog from, well now, this vlog <laughs> that's going up tomorrow and I needed to film this little outro because I did not read anything more than I thought I was going to. But just in case, I mean I did start Gideon the Ninth, did start it, read the chapter, and then I did start yellow face actually because I had a bunch of Kindle credits and I decided to put them towards some new releases that I really wanted and didn't have physical copies of. They were long lines at the library and then I couldn't find them at Barnes when I went to get some new releases for a vlog I'm gonna do. So that is all the updates that I have. This vlog is already over an hour long so I think that that's quite enough to be honest and I'm gonna close it out here. Um, in honor of bestie Pedro we are going to do green emojis. Green emojis, whatever green you want. Green hearts, plants, spaceship, in honor of Mandalorian, whatever you want to do, whatever appeals to you, you should do that. And um, yeah, I think that's 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 all I got for you this week. So remember to drink your water and stay hydrated. Be kind and have a good day on purpose. And I will see you later. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but